In order to create compassionate communities in Uganda, Ministry of Health together with Palliative Care Association of Uganda are implementing this program in partnership with Lueza Community Health Program and Taiba International School. It is anticipated to spread throughout the country. Today, these put a smile on the faces of the elderly at St. Barnabas Church in Lueza and the event started with an orientation of students from Taiba International School about how to handle the elderly people. When you put them in a home, you're depriving them that life. Mark Mwesiga, the Executive Director Palliative Care Association of Uganda, explains what Compassionate Community Program is. We start with identifying what the problems are in the community. As you have seen today, we have been with older persons. Some of them are unwell or they have different ailments. Now, the community, starting with their families, can play a role in reducing the health-related suffering that they face. The neighbors, the nearby schools, in a compassionate community, everybody will look at problems and have a role to play in solving these issues. So we are here to initiate that program as part of the commemorations that we are handling for the World Hospice and Palliative Care Day 2023. Rose Chiwan Kamsoke, the first trained and practicing specialist palliative care nurse who is currently a promoter of public health, working with Lueza Community Health Program, noted that once in a while, the elderly people need to get out of their homes. Today, in regards to health, we've, count, we've brought together the older persons so that they can have a good day out. We have a daycare today at St. Barnabas Church of Uganda, to ensure that these people once in a while get out of their home and interact with their colleagues some of them haven't really been out of uh, out of or out of their homes for years but today they've got this opportunity to come in the community at the church and interact with each other you should have seen the excitement rose added that they work with local councils and volunteers to identify these elderly people to help we work with our local council, but we also have volunteers whom we have trained, and some of them live very near these people. But also in the community, they are told that in such, and ha such a household, there is an older person. Then we go and visit this, that, that, that person, and that's how we were able to identify them and say the very frail should come out this time round. And that's why we have started with a very frail older persons. The Minister of Health has a mandate to ensure the availability of health care services to those who need it, especially the elderly. And this was noted by Dr. Tomoachire Emily, who represented the ministry. We are trying to ensure that there is availability of health care services, not only to, to the young people, but also to the elderly people. And that kind of service is called uh, geriatric care. So we try to ensure that their health needs are met through our government health facilities and that the requirements needed to offer this palliative care are available. So we try to ensure that health care services are available and accessible to the people, the elderly people in our communities. Professor Anne Merriman, founder of Hospice Africa Uganda, who also introduced palliative care in Uganda in 1993, expressed her joy to see Ugandans taking on the mantle to help the elderly. In our work, we go to see people who are very, very ill, and many of them are very, very poor. Sometimes the children in the house go down to beg for food from the neighbors to bring it to the patient. And I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. Every family I have gone to, I have learned another lesson. How wonderful is the caring that you and your families give. Taiba International School is also a partner in this program, and we spoke to some of the students in attendance. I am more than glad to be able to have come here today to be able and to see these elderly people for the first time because we need to remember that we once depended on these elderly people. There are many people out there who are not getting palliative care, as you could say. Our school thought of an idea which could help enable guys, or you could say the, the sick, to help them with such problems, I could say. It has been a long run, it has been a very hectic program. There have been ups and downs, helping people with disabilities, helping people with so many health issues. 